One, two, three. One, two, three. And we're back again for another one, which is going to be this time Cash Chamber 70 by Coast Cats. So let's get right into this one then. That is an adorable cat picture that's going on. I'm really enjoying these maps, to be fair. I'm really enjoying getting back to the hey, stuff. Here. Just want to let the cafeteria staff know to lay off right. Soylent Green. Soylent Green. The president, and it Soylent Green. Green. It's made of people. Soylent Green is people. Deformed cube. Deformed cutty cube. Oh, the best thing we ever made. You may so want to try and avoid those turrets. That's not a turret, but I'm going to guess those turrets in this map. Oh. Other fizzler stuff. That one you can't portal through it, you can go through it, but objects can go through it, I believe, from the previous portal mats that we've done. We've got two cube exits. There's no way physically to get that cube because there's no portal surface. We have a button, a portal surface over there. We have a fizzler up here, a uh, fizzler up there, and a cube here. Alright. Hmm. What's this button do? It creates a... Uh, Alright. Creates a funnel, which pulls back. Doesn't move forward, so that's, that's not good for anyone. What about up there? What's that up here? We got a cube over there. Is there anything we can do with this cube? Well, there is a portable surface below it. So, can we use the... No, you couldn't, you wouldn't be able to use the funnel because there doesn't seem to be a reverse that's available to us yet. So the only way I can imagine doing this is to, like, run and jump this thing. Just do that. Gives us one cube out. There was... the... cube up there, the cube button there that we need. How can we get this in sight? How or oh, how can we do this? Out of curiosity. Put that up there. The portal blue is still there. So. It's clapping the side on it. Doesn't seem to be the way to do it. Oh, we straighten this bad boy up then a bit. Straighten him up a little, put him right up top. Nope, just fall short. Just short. That's fine. There's no way to get it via here. I'm gonna guess we go get it through that somehow. How specifically? I'm not 100% sure. Is there anything up there actually? Is this like portable surface? No, it's not. Oh, I see. I, I see how we have to do it. If we get across here, put that there, and then just hit the button. Put portal there, and the portal there. The button's on a timer, so when it disintegrates, it's going to bring that up to a massive height and launch it through. Easily done. There we go. Wasn't too difficult to figure out. And then we can put it on the button. Weighted cubes calibrated. Aye, turrets. You can't get me. There's a button here, which you can tell by following the line. That's going to be dropping infinitely, which means, in my mind, there was the fizzler door above it. Like, uh, past there. You should see it in a minute. Yeah, right there. Which, that is now gone. Which makes it, I would say, possible to do this. Drop that up there. Because I feel that the timer would stop just too soon. And it would drop into the puddle. But, there was drop down here that we saw. Which I'm going to guess it's going to be a much shorter distance, but it means that we'll be able to bring both cubes across at the one time. If we do this. There we go. 
perfect both cubes done and dusted and that should be us into the next section one thing I love doing with cube buttons if you can get away with it is putting the physical cube not in the cube button holder but against the side of it like so there you go I don't know why I just I prefer it ah we're done your ability to complete this test proves the humans wrong Oh, that was an interesting test, Chamber. That was pretty fun. Deadly, cruel, that was Cats Chamber 70 uh, by Ghost Cats. Hopefully you enjoyed. I'll see you next time. It'll be in the description as always.